Yo, what is up and what is good, World Wide Web, YouTube, all my new viewers out there who's like, who the hell is this crazy motherfucker? Well, it's your host with the most, Paul Cantu, coming at you guys with a new problem-solving and dope-ass tutorial video. So essentially what I have in this vid is showing you guys how to turn really sick-ass, big-ass, double XL, triple XL, or just large shirts that you find at thrift stores in a sick, high-fashion, printed-on extended tees. So without further ado, I'm going to crack into the supplies that you're going to need to once again convert big ass shirts into sick ass high fashion extended tees and then get into the steps you're going to need to take to turn these whack ass shirts into some crack ass shirts. So first things first, I'm the illest JK. We're getting into the supplies you're going to need right now. The first thing is this here fabric pencil or some fabric chalk. You also are going to need some skizzles, some fabric cutting scissors to be precise and specific. So get some of those. You're also going to need a ruler on some corporal punishment type of shit, but make sure you have a very long, nice steel dope ass ruler. Actually it can be any type of material you want, just a ruler. And you also are going to need some pins and an organically grown pin cushion, which I have right here. So you gonna needs thems, and then you're also going to need a shirt that fits you well as opposed to the dress of a shirt you're altering. So in this case, I have my cowboy shirt. What up though? You also are going to need some thread that matches the color of the shirt you are altering and a sewing machine. It doesn't have to be this old, but you need one just know that. All right, so first step is to lay out your shirt nice and sexy like, and then get your well-fitting shirt and lie it all over that dress of a giant ass shirt that you have. So make sure it's flush, right and tight, and essentially even on both sides. Now the next step to ensure evenness is to get your ruler out that you're spanking your children with once again and just measure from one side of the shirt to the other to make sure that once again they are aligned up numerically. And then you want to grab your pins and start pinning the hell out of the shirts. So just basically pin a quarter of an inch underneath the smaller shirt as you can see I'm doing that right there. First pin in. Now I'm adding the second pin right there and then the third pin once again a little bit under the fabric of the smaller shirt. Done son. And then here's a closer look and after that's done you're going to want to get your ruler and line it up with the other pins and basically pin that space that isn't alongside the smaller shirt, that big ass like open gap at the bottom of the shirt. See right there? Did it. And here's a look at the finished product on the other side. So once again, what you do to one side, do to the other. And now I'm trying on the shirt, make sure it fits you well in the width. Don't worry about the sleeves because you're gonna alter those in a second. But yeah, man, what up, Screwston? So once the shirt fits, just go ahead and grab your chalk pencil and draw a line right down the ruler, right next to the pins that you've put in to ensure you have a nice sewing guideline. And just complete it at the bottom right there. And now to do the sleeves, you can either trace straight along the edge of the Dallas Cowboys or whatever well-fitting shirt you have in this case. Or as I'm doing, you can kind of taper it a little bit and add a nice little angle on deck. It's your personal preference, and I'm gonna tell you guys right now that tracing right along the interior armpit of the original t-shirt works best. But in this case, I'm being experimental and shit. That's why I added the little curve, but you guys do not have to do that once again. But here is the completed line, and then you're gonna go ahead and get your pins and just put pins about a quarter of an inch away from the line once again to secure the fat brock, you dig? And then now we come to the sewing machine. So if you guys don't know how to sew, ask your grandma or some other elderly ass motherfucker. But yeah, make sure that the hem of the bottom of the shirt is aligned or else that'll look ratchet as fuck, like you got some like orange weave in the club. And then you're gonna wanna put it under the sewing machine, drop the foot down, sink the needle in. Oh yeah, baby. Oh, wait, wait, oh, oh yeah. And then once the needle is sunk in, turn on the light, turn on the machine, sew up one, two, three, and then backstitch one, two, three to secure the thread that you are sewing. And then just follow that guideline like a boss. You're following it like a lion would follow an antelope, like a cheetah would follow its prey. Just stay on that line like your life depends on it. And just once again, go as fast or slowly as you need to, but just stay on the line like a boss. And now once you get to the curve right next to the arm pit, you're gonna to wanna to slowly turn the fabric and once again, just stay right along that line. If you need to stop, make sure the needle is sunk into the fabric, that way you can turn the fabric without the thread and your stitch line becoming uneven. And then once you get to the end, just back stitch one, two, three, and then you is done, motherfucker. So once that's all stitched up, just pull it out, 
chop that shit off like Napoleon, straight up guillotine decapitate the fuck out of that. And then once again, you're gonna wanna move on to the next step, which is actually cutting off the excess fabric right along the line you just sewed, sewn, whatever the fuck it is. And once again, leave a little bit of extra fabric, I'd say like a, a, milli, a millimeter of some fabric right next to the sewing line. And then bam, just complete it by chopping off that excess fabric once again. And now your shirt should fit you well in width. Now in terms of altering the sleeves, what you wanna do is once again, make sure the sleeves are lined perfectly. Leave about one inch and cut straight up down the line of your smaller shirt. So as you can see, I'm using the scissors, using the original sleeves as my guidelines, and just leaving a one inch gap right there. Boom, cut off like a young boss. I'm a champion, and you are too, if you do this tutorial and cut off sleeves with me. So now to ensure that the other sleeve is evenly cut as well, just lay that fabric piece that you just cut off down, line it up, and then just cut straight along that line. And now your sleeves will look even Stevens in this bitch, and your shirt will be sexy as hell. I promise, not really, you may screw up. All right, now getting on to finishing up the sleeves. This is one of the most complicated parts, so bear with me, go slow, and once again, you may wanna practice on some other shirts before you go on to your final product. But in this case, you wanna grab the end of the sleeve and fold it over about half an inch. AKA, make sure you roll the fabric over so that it's lined up with the foot of the sewing machine. As you can see right now, I'm just examining it and making sure everything is right and tight. But once again, just roll the fabric over about half an inch, sink the needle in, then you're gonna fold up one, two, three, or sew up one, two, three, excuse me, and then backstitch one, two, three to once again secure the sewing that you are doing on the hem of the sleeve. Now you wanna go slowly on this part because you are sewing the interior circle of this shirt. So you're doing a complete 360. The fabric will be curved, so you're gonna to wanna to do about two inches at a time just to ensure that the hem is even and that once again, your sewing is boss-like for real though. So as you guys can see right here, right now, your boy is just going down the line of my rolled over fabric and making sure that everything is butamous in the process. Now as a quick helpful tip, when you're doing this, once again, you are sewing along the interior circle of the sleeve. So that means you're making a curvature in this bitch and that's a bit complicated. So take it about two inches at a time, slow down, roll the fabric over, and then knock out the next two inches until once again, you've completed the whole 360 interior of the sleeve. Now, if you guys need to stop for any reason or if you're getting scared as fuck, make sure the needle is sunk into the fabric. And once again, to reiterate further, if you guys have never sewn in a circle before, definitely try this process out on a few like shitty tees first before you move on to the final product. Just once again, sew up until you have completed the circle, backstitch at the end, and as you can see right now, just cut the thread loose and you are done with the sleeves. Now for the bottom hem of the shirt, you can either leave it as is, or in my case, I'm getting creative as hell, and I'm actually adding an asymmetrical swoop to the bottom of this shirt. So yes, your boy always stay trying to be a little bit different. You feel what I'm saying? So in this case, once again, I'm making it asymmetrical on the bottom of the shirt, which is more complicated. So if you guys do not feel comfortable, or if you guys are just getting lazy or tired at the end of this process, Process, then you guys do not have to do this, but this is just like a bonus footage golden nugget of an extra t-shirt customization tutorial. So right here, right now, I'm just cutting off the excess fabric along that line. So once the fabric is done being cut off, you wanna to return to your sewing machine and do the exact same thing you did on the sleeves to the bottom hem of this swoop asymmetrical shirt you're doing right now. So as you guys can see, I just folded over the fabric about half an inch, and now I'm just sewing nice and straight. Once again, pursue the antelope. You are the cheetah. Feel it within your bones, within your core, and just finish this thing up like a young Lord. Just backstitch at the very end to secure the threading. And once you're done, turn the shirt inside out, throw it on for the win, and then your shirt is done. So without further ado, I'm going to show you guys my completed shirt right here, right now. Hopefully you guys' shirts end up this good. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section down below. But check your boy out right now.